Norbert Wiener's groundbreaking work, Cybernetics, or the Control and Communication in the Animal and the Machine, published in 1948, is a foundational text in the field of cybernetics. In this book, Wiener explores the convergence of human and machine intelligence, communication systems, and control mechanisms. He delves into the fundamental principles that underlie both natural and artificial systems, seeking to establish a unified framework for understanding and designing complex systems. This analysis will examine the key themes, concepts, and implications presented in Wiener's work. Wiener introduces the term cybernetics to describe the study of control and communication in both animals and machines. He emphasizes the interconnectedness of these two domains, asserting that the same principles govern both biological and artificial systems. This interdisciplinary approach marks a departure from traditional scientific disciplines and reflects Wiener's belief in the need for a holistic perspective to understand the world's complexities. Central to Wiener's exploration of cybernetics is the concept of feedback. He defines feedback as a process through which a system continuously receives information about its own output and uses this information to adjust its behavior. Feedback mechanisms, Wiener argues, are pervasive in both biological organisms and machines. He illustrates this by discussing how the human nervous system uses feedback to maintain homeostasis and control bodily functions, drawing parallels with the regulation of machines through feedback loops. Wiener's analysis of communication systems is another critical aspect of his work. He argues that communication occurs not only through language but also through the exchange of information and signals. Drawing from Shannon's information theory, Wiener explores the quantification of information and the role of entropy in communication systems. He emphasizes the importance of redundancy in effective communication, as redundancy helps combat noise and uncertainty in transmission. Furthermore, Wiener delves into the ethical and social implications of cybernetics. He recognizes the potential for increased automation and the integration of machines into various aspects of society. He cautions against the blind pursuit of efficiency and automation, highlighting the importance of human values and ethics in shaping the development and application of cybernetic systems. This foresight is particularly relevant in today's world, where discussions about the ethical use of artificial intelligence and automation continue to gain importance. In his exploration of the relationship between animals and machines, Wiener discusses the idea of machines that think and the potential for artificial intelligence. He acknowledges that machines can perform tasks that were once considered exclusive to human intelligence, such as solving complex mathematical problems. However, he also recognizes the limitations of machines in replicating the nuanced and contextual understanding of the human mind. Wiener's insights into AI predate the modern AI era but provide a foundational perspective on the human-machine relationship. Throughout the book, Wiener's writing style is dense and technical, reflecting his background in mathematics and engineering. He frequently draws on mathematical concepts and equations to support his arguments, making the text challenging for non-experts. However, this technical rigor underscores the scientific foundation of his ideas and the interdisciplinary nature of cybernetics. In conclusion, Norbert Wiener's Cybernetics or the control and communication in the animal and the machine, is a seminal work that laid the groundwork for the field of cybernetics. Wiener's exploration of feedback, communication systems, and the interplay between humans and machines remains relevant and influential in the study of complex systems and artificial intelligence. His ethical considerations also provide valuable guidance in today's rapidly evolving technological landscape 
reminding us of the importance of responsible innovation and the integration of human values into the development of cybernetic systems. While the book's technicality may pose challenges for some readers, its enduring contributions to the understanding of control and communication in the modern world make it a timeless and essential work in the fields of science and technology.